Hi, my name is Alex. I'm a senior at the University of West Florida, and I'm currently studying computer science, a bachelor in computer science. And what initially got me interested was actually playing video games. Uh, I thought it was really cool. I would see what's going on on the screen, and I was curious how it worked. It's different from, say, a motor, for example, where you could see all the moving parts, whereas with a computer, you didn't exactly see what was going on. So that was what initially started my, my interest. And I also had a passion for math and science. It was something I was naturally good at. So that's kind of what gravitated me towards computer science. And eventually what I want to do with that degree is become a software engineer. So the types of courses you could expect to take as a computer science student are kind of varied. At first you're going to start off, you're going to have you know, your math classes and your intro programming classes. Uh, and at first it can be pretty intimidating. You know, learning anything new can be intimidating. Um, but after that is where it really starts to get fun. So once you initially learn and get through those, those first couple programming classes, uh, you'll start to learn things like operating systems, uh, networks, data structures, so you're learning how to read and write code, but you're also understanding how and why it works. And not only are you learning how to do that, but you also get a taste of the theory and the hardware. You learn about computer architecture as well. So it's actually a pretty well-rounded degree. My favorite part about being a computer science student is that every day you, you pretty much get to do something new and different. Uh, for example, if you're in, say, a history class, it may be just strictly memorization. But whereas with computer science, it's, it's problem solving. Yes, there is memorization, but you're basically given a tool, and then from there you have to use that tool to solve problems. And as your courses build on one another, you're given more tools and more complex problems to solve. And so solving new problems every day is, is pretty cool. It keeps you on your feet, and you're always thinking about new problems. And kind of food for thought, if Mark Zuckerberg can create Facebook from his college dorm, well, imagine what you could create. The most difficult part about being a computer science student probably has to be the initial learning curve. When you take your first couple programming classes, it's uh, a totally different train of thought. It's more than likely something you've never done before. And as with myself and as many of my fellow peers, it, there was a, a pretty big learning curve to get over. And it is very intimidating. But as you start to do it more and you get better at it, you know, then you can start to take on more and more difficult problems. And, and practice makes perfect. So at first, it's going to be pretty difficult, but it's not impossible. Anyone can do it. There's lots of resources out there to take advantage of. So if this is something you are considering, just don't give up and, and keep working towards it. And eventually, you will get it. It's, it's not impossible material. What I wish someone would have told me before I started uh, pursuing a, a computer science career, advice they would have given me, was really what computer science is all about. The, the title, Computer Science, is, is kind of vague. What is it about? So when you graduate with that degree, you're going to know how to read and write code. You're going to understand what's going on behind the scenes within the computer. You're going to be able to problem solve and think on your feet. But beforehand, you, you have to have a, a pretty good background uh, in math, for example. You, you have to have strong math. You're going to have to get through calculus, linear algebra, set theory. You know, that ultimately is the, the foundation of computer science. Mathematics is important. So if you're interested in becoming a computer science student, uh, there's a couple things you can do ahead of time to prepare. As I mentioned, you have to have a strong math background. So obviously, you'd want to put a lot of attention in those courses. But there's literally a wealth of information online if you just want to learn a little bit more about the material. For example, you can learn a programming language without ever formally taking a class. Uh, if you were to hop on Google and say how to program in Java, you're going to get a million page hits. There's huge communities, forums, blogs with everyone working back and forth with problems they have and helping each other out. 
So you can literally hop, hop online and have a million sources at your fingertips. So if this is something you're interested in, you can hop online right now and, and get a little taste of the material and get your feet wet and see if that's something you're interested in. If it turns out that, hey, this is cool stuff and you find yourself wanting to learn more and, and more, then it could be that computer science is right for you.